Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Prime Minister of the Republic of Italy, Giorgia Meloni. On taking the constitutional oath, His Royal Highness wished Meloni every success in her service to Italy and its citizens. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, paid a visit to the National Charter Monument. The minister was briefed about the launch of the National Monument competition, which targets public and private school students and introduces them to Bahrain's history, civilization and achievements. Dr. Naimi stressed the importance of the contest in fostering citizenship among students through extracurricular activities, praising students' interaction. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamedan, chaired the meeting of the Coordination and Follow-up Committee at the Labour Ministry in the presence of Undersecretary Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the relevant officials. The meeting focused on ways to develop the Labour Ministry's initiatives and programmes to employ the citizens and integrate them in the labour market, commensurate with the Economic Recovery Plan launched by the government. In this regard, it reviewed the progress of the implementation of the initiatives launched by the Labour Ministry in collaboration with its main partners, including the labor fund Temkin and the private sector companies and institutions as well as the success indicators of the employment initiatives and the challenges facing them. Hamidan asserted that the labor minister will continue implementing its programs to employ national job seekers noting to the economic recovery plan launched by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The economic and commercial movement in the kingdom has flourished paving the way for Bahrain to attract many job generating investment opportunities. He asserted that through its incentives for productive sectors, the Labour Ministry seeks to provide free training for the national workforce, supporting the salaries of Bahraini workers and intensifying the employment of national job seekers in private institutions, calling for enhancing cooperation with the private sector to achieve the ultimate national goal of making Bahrainis the first option at the labour market. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al Limbarak, announced the continuation of preparations for the launch of the 10th edition of the Bahraini Farmers Market next December at the Badaya Botanical Garden in, the part in partnership with the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector. Based on the directives of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Al Limbarak affirmed that the Ministry would continue to provide support to Bahraini farmers and their efforts to introduce modern agricultural technologies into production processes in addition to supporting them in marketing their products. He appreciated the generous directives of uh, his ro Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, chairperson of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector in the success of the market's activities during the past years. He pointed out that the Bahraini farmers market is an important platform for marketing the products of Bahraini farmers and a magnet for citizens and residents in the kingdom, in addition to attracting visitors to the Kingdom of Bahrain from brotherly and friendly countries. Meanwhile, the Secretary General of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Sheikha Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, expressed her great happiness to start preparing to launch a new version of the Bahraini Farmers Market, which is relied upon to be an important platform for marketing local agricultural products in addition to what constitutes an incentive for Bahraini farmers to encourage them to increase and diversify local production, which was witnessed during the past edition of the market. She affirmed the keenness of the National Initiative for the Development of the agricultural sector to continue the partnership with the ministry in preparing and organizing this national event, believing in the noble goals of the Bahraini farmers market. His Majesty the King's advisor for media affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub al Hamar, asserted that stability and security, which have been anchored by the Gulf countries for decades, have created a great and ideal development renaissance that reflected positively on the people whose cohesion and loyalty to their regimes increased, throttling many attempts to strike those stable regimes. Participating as a keynote speaker and symposium organized by Asila Forum in Morocco under the theme The Arabian Gulf Symposium Between East and West, Al Hamar underlined keenness of the Gulf countries on boosting rapprochement, tolerance, intercultural dialogue and coexistence between the East and West. Al Hamar affirmed that the Arabian Gulf is leading nowadays a diplomatic movement neither Eastern nor Western but rather puts the interests of its people and the interests of the Arab nation at the fore. It has adopted policies that are no longer based on a reaction but action to fortify its internal front against any attempts that are not consistent with its interests. 
He noted that the recent visit of leaders from the east and west to the Gulf stand witness of the growing and influential role of the Gulf policies in the world, stressing that the natural and fast-paced challenges in the Arabian Gulf have surprised many and went beyond their expectations to become a hard number in international policies. Meanwhile, Al-Hamar said that the gap was growing more and more between the Iranian regime and the people who suffer from abject poverty, while this regime is spending money on its loyal organizations and expansionist goals in the Gulf. In line with the government's digital transformation policy, which stems from the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bahrain has become a pioneer in digital transformation and adopted latest technologies and implemented successful projects and initiatives that serve the citizens and residents. More in this report. In implementation to the far-sighted directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to make digital transformation a pillar to national work, the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has empowered the digital transformation of its entities by encouraging the digitalization of their services and operations and investing in latest technologies to enhance efficiency, serve the citizens and residents, and support the national economy. Given the distinct experience of Bahrain in the field of digital transformation, its remarkable contributions regionally and internationally, in addition to the fact that it was one of the founding members of the Council of the Digital Cooperation Organization, the Cabinet approved Bahrain's presidency of the Council of the Digital Cooperation Organization for the next session for a one-year term. During its presidency, the Kingdom of Bahrain will share its vast experience in this field, encourage innovation, and aspire to empower women, the youth, and entrepreneurs to embrace digital transformation in line with the goals of the organization, which aims to bolster digital economy and accelerate digital transformation. Based on the government's program, the Ministry of Works is proceeding with the implementation of various development projects related to the development of many road networks in Bahrain and the distribution of traffic through the expansion of existing streets and the establishment of alternative and new streets. As the ministry is responsible for public works and infrastructure, engineering, covering, planning, design, supervision of construction and maintenance of roads, bridges and traffic facilities. Indeed, those improvement projects that the ministry is adopting a strategy to reduce time for road users and increasing the level of traffic safety for citizens and residents of transiting vehicles. The Ministry of Works is essentially the construction arm of the Bahrain government and is responsible for major infrastructure such as roads, water and sanitation and public buildings. Its objective is to provide physical infrastructure that improves the quality of life for all residents. This infrastructure supports national development goals as laid out in the 2030 plan. In practice, this means researching technical issues and planning infrastructure requirements accordingly, such as the integrated transport study currently underway to find long-term sustainable solutions to vehicle congestion on Bahrain's roads. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning announced that it is organizing introductory lectures on the new housing finances that the ministry put forward in early August. The introductory lectures comes within the framework of the educational plan, which aims to familiarize citizens with the types of new housing finances and their various purposes and the provisions related to each financing service. The ministry indicated that the volume of inquiries that citizens submit daily through the ministry's various channels is witnessing a continuous growth in addition to the increase in the number of requests submitted by citizens to benefit from the new housing finances in light of the immediate privileges of obtaining the service and the diversification of its purposes to suit the different needs of citizens. It noted that the introductory lectures programs represents a new communication channel based on personal communication which allows citizens to obtain all information related to each financing service and its various provisions. The ministry stated that introductory lectures on new housing finances are available to all citizens who have existing housing applications and wish to transfer their applications to benefit from housing finance in addition to citizens who intend to apply for new housing.
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the terrorist attack carried out by the terrorist Houthi militia with two booby-trapped drones targeting the Deba oil port in Hadramaut Governorate in the Republic of Yemen in clear violation of international laws and norms and a serious threat to navigation, global trade and the marine environment. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirms that this attack launched by the Houthi militia is a dangerous escalation that contradicts international efforts aimed at extending the armistic or the armistic in Yemen, bringing peace and stability and alleviating the suffering of the Yemeni people, renewing the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in support of the Republic of Yemen to restore legitimacy and achieve the aspirations of the Yemeni people in security, stability and prosperity.